How are you doing with the heat? Mostly, I've been lying in my bed, completely incapacitated, unable to function, unable to think, unable to do most things. I'm not usually wearing a shirt or any pants at all. It's kind of gross, but you know what? Any extra layer is unbearable. While in this state, I literally leave a slug-like sweat trail on every type of object that I sit on. It's gross, but you know what? My body's trying to cool down. Now you might be thinking, but Evan, I live in X country in the Middle East or in Mexico or something and it's much, much hotter than where you're from. I don't know why you're complaining so much. Well, you see the thing is, Jennifer, that England is not built for heat. Sure, you might see the temperature looks like it's hotter where you're from, but your country is smart. Your country knows how to deal with these things. English people, they just complain. They think if you complain enough, it cools things down. It doesn't actually. And when I complain about the fact that no building in the UK for some freaking reason, no like private house, nobody's house, no flat has air conditioning, everyone just goes, oh, well, that's because it's not hot that often. If it's hot every year, which it literally is, there should be no reason why air conditioning isn't a thing. It's the 21st century, England, come on. The buildings are also insulated because it's much colder in the winter. And so when you live on the fifth floor of a building and heat rises, my will to live does not. I just want to die. It's so hot, I want to die. So that is how I'm beating the heat. If you have any better tips, please leave them for me because I know I'm gonna need them. And that's probably why I'm wearing a tank top right now. It's the least amount of clothing I can wear in a video without being unacceptable. And also, I mean, it is my own merch, so that's pretty cool. But now that I think about it, by the time you're watching this, I don't care. I'm in LA where it is hotter, but they've invented air conditioning. So I'll be having a great time. I don't know whether or not it'll get colder, but hopefully it will. I mean, I'm saying that even though it's the summer. I just want it to be acceptable. I'm okay with like 23 degrees in the UK, honestly, but 30 degrees plus, it's just, I wanna die. <laughs> Look how shiny I am. You're probably like, wow, Evan, you've got some great highlighter on. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> natural. Oh, natural. <laughs> if you didn't go to school in London, do you think you would of end up in London anyway? No. I say that honestly. I really don't think I would of ended up in London because the only reason I ended up here was chance. It just, I happened to pick London, I happened to pick England, and I knew when I chose England as my university, I wouldn't have another chance like this. Back home in my living situation, there was no way I could afford to come to England or find the loophole to stay and work here. Like, it just wouldn't have happened. I would have stayed in America, I might have been able to visit the UK, maybe, but other than that, I really don't think it would have happened. I wonder what happened to the alternate timeline Evan. I mean, I also want everyone to know that in order to film this video, I've turned on two giant lights, closed my windows, and closed my door, so I've basically baked myself in. So if I'm getting even more shinier throughout this video, that's why, okay, the life of a YouTuber, it's, it's tough stuff. <laughs> What age did you start needing glasses? I think I probably always needed them, kind of, but I have a conspiracy theory about it. I thought glasses looked cool as a kid, so I remember when I was very young, probably like 10 or 11, I went to the optometrist, the eye doctor, and maybe I fudged things a little bit, maybe I said things were blurry when they weren't, I don't really remember, I just remember feeling like it was wrong no matter what I did, and then when I got glasses, it was actually because I was so bad at baseball, my dad was like, he obviously needs glasses. He's not hitting the ball. No, I was just terrified of it, Dad. I didn't want to play anymore. I was trying to be bad, so take me out. Anyway, that aside, um, so I started wearing glasses to be better at baseball. It did help a bit. Things were a bit clearer, but I think it did hurt my vision by wearing them that young. I don't really know, but I'm only like a negative 1.5. It's not that bad. It's like 20, 40 or something. 10 is the short answer to your question. <laughs> Do you ever want to take a break from YouTube? I've never really wanted to, and I feel like after all the things that have happened to me in the last year that I haven't taken a break for, what else is there to take a break for? I, it's like saying, do you want to take a break from enjoying cake? No, I enjoy eating cake and ice cream all the time. Why would I take a break from that? It's, it's something I like to do. I play video games all the time. I'm not going to take a break from it. Why would I do that? What's the worst restaurant experience you've ever had? I'm not going to lie, guys. Okay, this is, this is a low moment for my life, kind of. But I've dined and ditched before. I've worked at a restaurant as a server for five years, okay, I know the rules, I know that's wrong, but it was a horrible experience. <laughs> I'm at this restaurant in Paris with my friends. We had to wait an hour and a half to get seated. So if waiting an hour and a half just to get seated wasn't bad enough, I also had to wait ages just to get the food, but that wasn't the kicker. The big thing, the big reason why we ended up dining and ditching was because after getting our food, I asked for the bill after waiting seemingly ages to get it, and they went, okay, be right back. After a half hour of waiting and still no bill, I asked again, can we have the bill? Nothing, 15 minutes, no they said they're gonna get it, they didn't. At that point, I realized they don't want my food, okay? They weren't dying, dying to get my money. 
So I ditched, all right? We just left, we said, have a nice day, and they were like, have a nice day, and I was like, uh -huh, I'm having a nicer day, because I didn't pay. I didn't actually, okay? I think I paid for that meal with my time, because that was a horrible experience, okay? What's your favorite music at the moment? If you don't follow me on Twitter, you wouldn't realize I really like Alt-J, and I really like their new album. It's freaking great. I got to see them live at a gig recently. Oh my god, it was such a good gig. It was so amazing. I did a whole travel vlog of that, if you want to watch that, by the way. There should be a card on the screen. It was a good time. I also really love Paramore's new album, After Laughter. It's really good. It's a good thing. There's so many bops on it. Caught in the Middle is a great song. I did a cover of it kind of a little bit on my Insta story the other day. Might do a full one soon. Who knows? VidCon's coming up. Collabs are abound. Actually, by the time you're watching this, VidCon has just ended, which is cool, I guess. This is the first year I've been invited and gotten flown out, and it's really exciting to me. So thank you, VidCon. If you're watching, love you, babes. Also, if you're going to VidCon, I hope to see you. It's exciting. I'm going to meet so many people, and it's not... Gonna, I'm not gonna look like this, hopefully. It's just, I'm really sorry I keep mentioning this. It's just, all I can think about is this heat. Any tips for someone trying to learn German? I've heard you're supposed to watch German things with German subtitles, as opposed to, like, English subtitles, because at that point you're just reading the show. Because I tried watching Deutschland 83 the other day, which is supposed to be a really, really good show in German, but they only have English subtitles, and that's not gonna help my learning, and I couldn't find any German subtitles, which is really annoying. And also, another really annoying thing about it is that even if you do get German subtitles with, with German, like, audio, they just change it up. So instead of, if I said to you, Hi, my name is Evan, I'm having a good day. The subtitle would say like, Hello, the name that I call myself is Evan, and the day that I'm having is great. Why would you, why would you switch it up? It's the same language. There's no need to change it. It's very frustrating. Okay, so basically my biggest tip is, really suck it in, man. That's my tip for everything. <laughs> just be a sponge. Be a German little sponge. Watch some movies, read some books. <laughs> I'm so... How'd you spend your summer when you were a child? I would knock on the neighbor's door, ask them to play a game of football. We'd like have a bunch of neighbors playing football in the park. Or I'd go exploring in the woods and like make these little dams. There'd be this little like creek going through and so we'd like take rocks and sticks and we'd like divert the stream a different way and that was fun. We would uh, do that a lot. It was a game called Dam. Really inventive with the names we were. Do you ever find sleeping with a massive mural of yourself on your wall scary? Do you not feel constantly watched? Actually, fun fact. A while ago, I decided to cover the face. It's, uh, it's covered up. <laughs> I just put a piece of paper on it. At the time, I didn't think it'd be a good idea to look at my own face. And so I said, we're just gonna cover him up. And I haven't taken it away. Sometimes when people look, come over, I'm like, look at this guy. Whoop! And I just reveal it. It's like a, hey, it's me. I think that's a lot better, I don't know. <laughs> Do you own a fidget spinner? Not yet, but I did just order two cute shirts for me and Connie to wear together at Sitsi, and the order came with a free kawaii fidget spinner. So I might be wearing that around at Sitsi. Wearing it? Yeah, just, just have it on my head, just be spinning all the time, hopefully it cools me down. I've seen in your Instagram story that you've been really active outside the last few days slash weeks. How do you do it? It's just because I've been using this app that gamifies going outside and being active and that makes it more fun. So it's like, oh, I did this much today, tomorrow I have to do a little bit more and a little bit more. And if you don't do that, then you actually get worse. You can tell your body's having a harsher time with it. So just by going out and doing runs all the time, I'm now able to do like 15 minute runs, which is crazy. I'm really close to being able to run 5K which was so far when I started. I couldn't run a minute without wanting to pass out. So that's really nice. Basically, make it a game, make it fun. And also, the more I've been working out, the more like compliments I've been getting from people. I've been having like friends be like, oh, Evan, wow, you look really good. And I'm like, thank you. It's like, I feel good. They th think I look good. That's good. Good is a great adjective. <laughs> Has anyone you know ever beaten you at Smash Brothers? No. That's actually never happens. No one I'm friends with or that I know has beaten me in Smash Brothers. I've been beaten at tournaments and things before, but not by anyone I know. What's the real story behind Connie and the spaghetti bowl? Basically, one time Connie was spreading lies about me, and then at the same moment, she put her foot in a bowl of spaghetti that she had put on the floor of her room. I don't know, it's an urban legend back in the day, but she's done it multiple times I've seen. It's crazy what she gets up to on Twitter. Are you working on any new merch? Yes, I've actually got a lot of cool things in the pipeline, so if you're going to Sitsi, you'll see it then, and it will be available concurrently online with the online store that I have, so look forward to that. I'm really excited because it's uh, some designs that I've wanted to put out for ages but just didn't have the ability to or the design ability, but now it's all happening. It's going to be tight. Why am I doing this? Call me. The merch man. <laughs> Call me the merch man. <laughs> you ever scrap video ideas? And if so, what's the weirdest video idea you ever had? I've 
rarely scrap videos. For the most part, I, I get them all through and I get them to a point where I really like them, but there is this one that I tried filming three times and no time did I film it and enjoy the edit, so I never uploaded it. It was a story about me and elevators or lifts and how I'm this elevator prankster. Maybe one day I'll upload it if I can find a way to make it funnier to me, but I've gotten into trouble in elevators before and I just think there's some funny stories I can tell. I'll upload it when I like it. No spoilers. Can you make some puns about summer? Wow, I wish summer the houses in the UK had air conditioning. What is your favorite Porter Robinson song? My favorite Porter song is his collab with Maddie and Shelter is the combination of both of their efforts and it is the best song ever. Other than that, it's language because that was like the first song that got me into Porter. I heard it in Urban Outfitters and I was like, what is this song? There's no lyrics, but I really want to hear it more and more. I love it. It was language. Can you talk about the weather like a real British person? Well, I could, uh, which is basically just complaining like, oh God, don't know why it's so hot out there, so bloody hot. Wish it was a bit cooler. Hopefully that wasn't, wasn't too bad. Tried to have a cup of tea, burnt my tongue. I didn't even drink the tea, but I just burnt my tongue because it's so hot out. <laughs> My accent's horrible. You know what, my, my accent is a lot better than it used to be. I've been working on it, I haven't really, I've just been living here and so my accent has gradually changed over time until it's a little bit more acceptable and yet no British person can really understand what area of England I'm from because I'm going all over the place. Sorry. If you could automatically know how to play any instrument, which would you choose? I'd choose the guitar because right now I don't know how to play it and I am guitarable. There's the pun, okay? Are you happy? Are you happy with the it, piano is, is the real answer. I'm losing my mind. Who's your favorite DC superhero? Probably Barack Obama. <laughs> you get to keep your spectacles used at the concert the other day. I got given some Snapchat spectacles for the Alt-J concert I went to at the OG the other day, and it was really good, made the Snapchats really cool, but they took the spectacles back until next week when they give them back to me. So soon on my Snapchat will be some really cool snaps using those really weird looking snapstickles. That's what I've been calling. What age did you first get a job? I had either just turned 17 or was living the latter half of my 16 year old life. I was working at a pizza restaurant trying to make ends meet. I just wanted money to like buy video games. That was my big thing. I was like, ooh, I make money. I can buy a new GameCube game. Like, you know, anything I want to play. I no longer have to wait for my parents to save up money for me. Now I can do it. And then that's when I started buying cameras and stuff to make videos. So, easy answer, 16 and a half or 17. Did you ever struggle majorly with acne? I luckily never had an issue with acne my entire life. Sometimes I'd get a pimple in my like eyebrow, which would hurt, or a pimple like on a mole, which I called a mumble. You couldn't pop them because you can't pop a mole and it was like, I hate that. Or I'd get them on my nose or something and that was annoying, but I never had acne problems. I am very blessed with good skin. I found out that recently when I've met people that don't have good skin and told me about it and I was like, oh, that's how it is. Thank you, God, for this. I appreciate it. So, sadly, I don't have any advice. I know a lot of people that have, like, huge routines, and they don't even work. So, really, I have no clue. I'm really sorry. Good luck. Did you ever go through an emo phase as a teenager? No, I missed out on that. My brother did, and I just th thought, oh, I don't want to look like that. I just went through an I don't care about anything phase. I don't care how I look phase. So, I just dressed wearing anything. Sweatpants to school? I don't care. I wore khaki pants every day to high school because I thought it'd be fun to be different. Is there a khaki phase? I definitely went through a khaki phase. You like jazz, Evan? <laughs> I love jazz. I used to listen to jazz to go to sleep when I was a kid. I love classical music, I love jazz, and I love the seahorses. Well, that about does it for this episode of Ask Kevin. Thank you very much for enjoying this video. I hope you did. If you want, you can watch another video I've made right here. It's really great. You should click it. It's a, it's a nice one. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna literally go jump in a cold shower. I hope you have a great, cool day wherever you live. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs>